Let's turn our attention to cricket. Aubrey Wodonga now and border cricket expert Heath Norton says Talangata will have to be at its best to take down the inform Lavington in the third round of the one day as tomorrow came and got caught up with him to preview this weekend's action. We're back at Bilson Park talking cricket with Heath Norton. Norto, it's the third round of one days tomorrow. What do you expect? Well, I expect it to be a uh, pretty close competition. I think the one day format's been pretty good so far. Um, you know, I, I think the, you know, the, the red ball, white ball doesn't really matter this time of year. And uh, I think everyone's enjoying it. And Aubrey's got another recruit. Is there a danger there'll be too many apples in the cart? No, I don't think so. I mean, uh, they probably needed a few players to come on board. And I think Lukey Stoll's doing a great job there. And, it's a big challenge for St Pat's this week, but yeah, look, they've added some experience and some players from some other clubs, and I think they'll uh, they'll probably hold themselves in good stead this weekend. Lavington and Talangata should be a crack, aren't? Lavington are probably the team to beat, but uh, yeah, look, I do give Talangata a chance, but gosh, you want to be a good team to to beat Lavy Panthers. And Nick McDonald stepped down as new city coach. Do you think that's going to impact the side against East Albury? Oh, look, there's no question that it will. Um, but yeah, look, obviously. We're all outsiders looking in and, uh, you know, they've, they've sorted some things out there. And how do you think Wodonga and Belvoir are going to go? Yeah, great contest. Belvoir's got a great top order and Wodonga probably all-round list is, is pretty good. Um, you know, I think Jacko would be pretty hungry to, to get some more runs. He's in some good touch. But, uh, yeah, Drew Cameron, uh, Johnny Spencer, they, they'll love getting out there and whacking that red kookaburra around as well. So, pretty close one. Maybe Wodonga by a couple of runs. Thanks, Nordo. Shaping up for a cracker weekend of cricket.